First thing this morning, I was really, really excited. Although I must admit, I had about four hours sleep, so I was quite terrified that I would, by this point, just want to nap. For me, it was just the worry as to whether the flowers were going to be all right initially. We wanted to make sure that everything was just right for Laura, really. Getting ready, we had a fantastic time with my bridesmaids, who are all phenomenal people. A little bit of stress, <laughs> hoping it would all come together. All of us together, chatting, we were eating cocktail sausages. I joined her to start with the makeup. Getting ready, doing our hair, doing our makeup, making cake boxes for people to take cake home in, which was a surprisingly calming activity we discovered. She seemed very relaxed and excited, actually. Once I saw her in her dress, she just looked incredible. A fantastic moment when my dad walked in the door and saw me for the first time. I thought she looked absolutely lovely, stunning. I mean, it, it really brought a lump to my throat. Bit of a daunting day for me. My son's getting married. Well, we travelled down to the venue fairly early. Quite fun getting all of the groomsmen assembled. We drove down together. He seemed very calm, actually. He's quite a calm person anyway I think all got ready together in one of the rooms in the farmhouse they were all very calm we got ready we had a lot of googling about how to properly set up pocket squares I was very proud of him I may have slightly mistimed the timing of the registrar meeting so I think things were slightly more hectic than they should have been but it all worked out well in the end we were ready and before I knew it the guests started arriving even though I know Laura will walk down the aisle because goodness me she's told me enough times like there's still that nagging fear the ceremony is due to start at half past two and then that turns to 2.35 and you're thinking goodness me this is uh, starting to take a while we're all looking forward to seeing the dress the, the bridesmaids emerged looking very beautiful and especially my daughter Katie there and I could see Laura's shadow behind the partition in the room once that music started and she and the dad came down I welled up <laughs> it was our Laura going down the aisle of super happy surprisingly nervous seeing Laura looking absolutely incredible even behind the veil Although very warm under that veil walking down with her dad was a moment that will live with me forever I did see Tom standing at the end Laura I give you this ring Tom I give you this ring as a token of my love and affection and as a reminder of the promise we have made to each other wear this ring with happiness and pride now and always I will love you forever whatever happens and when they use our atoms to make new lives, they'll have to take two, one of you and one of me. You are indeed husband and wife. You do. <laughs> I knew that things were getting serious when Laura came to me a couple of months later and said, Dad, I want to change my MX-5. <laughs> so I thought, bigger and better sports car. No, she says to me, Dad, I need a four-door hatchback that can take some proper bike racks on the road. And if you'd asked 25-year-old Laura that she would be married at this point, she would have definitely laughed at you. I'm stronger, happier, and more balanced because I met you. I love you so much, and I'm so pleased to finally call you my husband. You've been so surprised supportive of me over the years. I love that you at least try to cycle up hills. <laughs> but I love that you only do it because you want to spend time with me. How can you not love that really? What is Laura's biggest fear? It's not this, but I'm going to say cycling up the Stelvio. <laughs> <laughs> it used to be failure, but apparently now it's losing you. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Tom and Laura, just be happy, enjoy each other's company, keep close to one another, and you'll always overcome whatever is put in front of you. Talk to each other, and I wish them the very best. I think they're perfectly matched as a couple, and I think they're going to have a very long and happy life. Laura, I wouldn't be the person I am today if it wasn't for you, and I adore you. I'm so, so happy and excited at the prospect of spending the rest of my life with you. Tom, you're my world. I'm so happy that we're finally married. It's an honour and a privilege to finally call you my husband. Nothing more, nothing less.